Greetings. How are you? I'm good. I am in need of some sunglasses this evening. <laughs> As am I. Mine are a bit anemic. <laughs> I like your uh, headgear. I oh, thank you. You're quite welcome. <laughs> nice. Zoom was being stupid. Wizardy. What? I said I was feeling a bit wizardy today. Well, that's good. I feel wizardy sometimes. And then I wind up in jail. Oh, well. <laughs> have you ever been to jail? Can't say I have. Does that mean you haven't or just that you can't say you haven't? <laughs> 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 we'll leave that a mystery then. Indeed. Indeed. It was smelly in my house today, so I lit up one of these. These here things. Oh, yeah. I love these. Some Some lovely human gave them to me. Smells like coffee. Mm -hmm. I've about burnt through all the candles you gave me. Well, it's time magical. for a reup. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. So how have you been? I haven't seen you since... Uh... Oh, hey, wait. I got to talk to the invisible people. Hello. Welcome to Conversations in Sunglasses. My guest tonight... For the one to 20 of you who are watching, if it's only one, it's me. I have one of these with one view. It's me. It's hilarious. But I mean, most of them have more than that. So we're, we're just precious gems of the internet waiting to be discovered. I agree. I agree. I don't care about the views anyway. It's just fun. Just mm -hmm. fun. But uh, yeah, so conversations and sunglasses. Amanda Williams. Hello. She's famous because I say so. <laughs> so. So, right. So, how have you been? It's been almost four months. It's been a whole winter. It has. Since, since Yule, I believe. Indeed. Yes. So, it's have you been time. keeping warm? uh trying to i do work outside so that can be a bit difficult true true but layers help that's also true like how do you prefer to layer like clothing or just eating lots of twinkies oh man mostly just the clothing mm. but definitely have up to the um the fatty foods over winter anyway yeah it's good it's good to be obese in the cold months it's true like morbidly obese to where your doctors yell at you and say hey you're oh, gonna no. die and you're like yeah but at least i'm warm duh yeah well Stupid. you know you skinny people in the winter <laughs> right just kidding but yeah, I've been there, and it, it is miserable. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to be cold. I also don't like to be hot. Same. I'm a, I'm a very much a, a fair weather human. Yeah, same, same. I like, I like it steady. Like, okay, if it gets to be um, seventy one degrees, I'm too hot. And if it's right? seventy degrees, I'm too cold. <laughs> Mm -hmm. so like i don't know 70.5 yeah that's what i need i don't know what to do like but yeah so it's cold again today for some reason that rainstorm brought in the cold front was that rain like i thought it was mud like just my <laughs> car literally just covered in mud from the rain like yeah it rained mud I don't appreciate that. I have to Try go. Try to keep Texas beautiful here. 
you're not helping nature. Right. Mother nature done messed with Texas. What are we going to do? We're going to nuke her, I guess. I mean, <laughs> what do you do to mother nature to get revenge? Destroy nature. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're doing a pretty good job there. Yeah. Unfortunately, maybe that's why she rained mud. Maybe, maybe. she's taking revenge. I mean, that's understandable. I would take revenge too if I had like a rambunctious patch of cells or something, like try to corrupt my body. Right. I mean, that's what we do. We nuke cancer. We nuke it pretty much. Mm -hmm. I don't know. When um, all you have is a nuke, everything is a, a nuclear blast. Out. <laughs> true, true. Like, I mean, this isn't going up for another couple weeks or so, but as we're recording this, speaking of nukes, like there are crazy people with nukes out there who are who are making funny noises that I don't like. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about the war in Ukraine? Well, I... I see that my privilege is not living in a war zone. Truth. It's true. I mean, it makes you feel really lucky that we're kind of like isolated. We've had not many wars on American soil. Maybe, I mean, three come to mind and I wasn't there for any of them. And that's not counting 9-11 because that was more like that was a terrorist strike. That's yeah, that wasn't we weren't in counting D-Day. Like, yeah. yeah. And the war actually happened over there, not over here, but we had like the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, the War of 1812 in between there. Yeah, those are just colonist wars. <laughs> I guess so. I mean, I mean, who knows what kind of wars were fought beforehand? Not with guns. Though. Oh, right. Like in the in the pre-Columbian days, we don't mm -hmm. even know. We, they're prehistoric. We don't wars. even know. We like blew all that evidence up. Was there any evidence left anyway? That's the kind of war we should have. Right. Leave no trace war. <laughs> <laughs> right. The they couldn't have been that civilized at that time in human history. Kind of war. Like, they wouldn't have had that kind of technology. They were primitives. Mm -hmm. We leave them with that impression. We annihilate ourselves so badly that this is the dawn of human history. No way did they have nukes. Do you yeah. think, what do you think about um, the idea of a lost advanced civilization, like prehistoric, that we don't even know about? Like, that, that the human culture rises and falls cyclically like we get advanced and annihilate ourselves and start over like do you think that's that happened highly plausible mm -hmm. i think so and there's there's interesting evidence that you know like there are ancient cities at the bottom of the ocean in places that thousands of years ago like they weren't above sea level except for like before we were supposed to have been able to build cities and stuff right but it's been underwater for like much longer than we're supposed to have been advanced um mm -hmm. and i mean they look like ancient ruins like you see but they're on the bottom of the ocean it's interesting yeah yeah, makes me feel like I live in a meat grinder. <laughs> kind of, because like that, that implies that one day all of our stuff could be underwater too. Exactly. I mean, that's what I think about when we, whenever the like the doomsday clock gets closer and closer to midnight or whatever, I wonder about these things. Like how many times has that, has the doomsday clock even though, I mean, it didn't exist back in the day, like the, but how many times would it have hit midnight in prehistory? Um, 
because you know like i don't know that could have had a post history in it yeah yeah like there's history and prehistory but it's prehistory now because we started over i don't know i don't i don't we want to remember so much right you know soap opera amnesia mm-hmm. i wonder why that was such a big trope in the tv times of the <laughs> right everybody has amnesia and goes into comas like i don't know i mean that's just life that's just life like life is like a soap opera you get hit in the head with a rock you you uh forget who you are you marry someone else and they find you working in a diner and like you don't know who you become president and right you become the president no that's what happened i mean whatever yeah it's your movie oh well oh well so I had a job interview. How'd that go? I thought it went really well. <laughs> like, I don't know. I haven't heard back yet. Um, it's up where Nick and Zach work. Nick, Aston, and Zach. Uh, I mean, Nick said today that the guy who interviewed me said it was a good interview, but I was really chatty. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I mean, ask me a question, I will answer. Right? I mean, isn't that what you're supposed to do in an interview? Right. You're better than me. Um, you can barely get a word out of me. <laughs> Not this one, obviously. Right. But Truth. Job interview. Totally different. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think, like, I go in there and I think, uh, I don't know what to say. Like, his first question was so broad. Like, and I wasn't prepared. Like, I was prepared for all of the standard questions. Like, uh, tell me your weakness and you have to answer it backwards and give them a strength. You know, I was ready for that one. Didn't get that one. But the first question I got was, um, so, you know, Nick and Zach. Tell me about that. (laughs) I'm like, (laughs) um... uh, well, long, long ago, <laughs> just let me tell you a story. Uh-huh. I mean, let me tell you almost two decades worth of stories. I raised them from young whelps and they wouldn't be who they are now without me. That's who I am. <laughs> I am the one who corrupted them. <laughs> if they are a problem at work, I am the reason. <laughs> I taught them that evil traits <laughs> <laughs> when they were innocent teenagers. Uh, then he asked me about my writing, which wasn't oh, even on, on my resume. Oh, really? Yeah. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> Nick and Zach must have been talking me up. Didn't even need the interview with those two. <laughs> Right. They interviewed for me <laughs> ahead of time. That might be why I haven't heard back. <laughs> but I, I don't know. I don't know. But I hate um I hate looking for work. It's like dating. I hate them equally yeah. and they're very similar processes. Capitalism dating. Mm. Yeah, it's like I'm What's dating. Do I want to be the sub? right right this seems like a good company though i mean uh, we'll see we'll see Um, i can always get you a job at my place does it pay like a living wage and have benefits it has benefits i like benefits yeah Um, i'll tell you the starting off screen okay but it's not bad okay it's good like not bad is better than bad at a pizza delivery place it's doing what like two weekends at a pizza delivery place uh-huh yeah. interesting but the benefits are all right benefits and are good mm-hmm. dental vision 
cool. 401k, paid time off. Nice. When you only do two weekends, I'm confused. I'm... Oh, wait, no, it, my paycheck is the equivalent of a person oh. who works two weekends a month at a pizza delivery place. I see. Okay. So nothing. <laughs> so, you, so you don't get oh, paid. They charge you, you for working there and pull a gun on you every now and again. Uh, just keep it spicy. <laughs> yeah, but no guns at my job. But I do have a machete in my car in case I need to fight some more tactics. Good policy. Good policy. I have a rusty machete. Hmm. I chose to inherit it out of my grandfather's garage after he died because I found it and I was a little kid. And I'm like, that's my inheritance. That there <laughs> rusty machete, mine. So sentimental. <laughs> oh, well. So what's the weirdest thing you ever did with a dead person? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know i'm kind of troubled by your taking so much time to think about your answer it's like god well, all the things i've done with dead people <laughs> you normally just like stare at them maybe right. cry a bit i watched one become a dead person before it i've was done that hospital. not fun i didn't do it no it was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for clarifying Okay, yeah, this lady got a lung cancer diagnosis and then decided to die five days later. But, well, that's efficient. Right? I mean, that's I mean, what you was, do. She was, she was old. Like, almost 90. Jeez. The treatment would have been like a minute. So I oh, yeah. Man. So. I hope when we're 90, well, when you're 90, I'll be like, uh, 27 but mm -hmm. I hope when you're 90 it's not so rough yeah, like they, that'd be nice. the but, 90 yeah. will be the new 40 they're finding plastic in our bloodstream so I mean <laughs> I'll probably be uploaded into some computer as a consciousness zip file awesome that's what I want like, it might be more comfortable. Like, this body is great and all. Mm -hmm. But it's so much empty. True story. And you can get like, sick. Out, feeding and, yeah, getting sick. Mm -hmm. I had a recent head bump, too. I mean, this thing. Ooh. Is not... Unfortunate. Yeah. Luckily, I got hit where my braid was. So oh, okay. A lot worse. That's helpful. That's mm -hmm. helpful. I just feel more dyslexic. <laughs> hey, so how do you braid hair? Like, I want to know. It troubles okay, so... me that I don't know how to braid hair. And I don't know why, like, the past week, for some reason, it's really been on my mind. I don't want to braid my hair. I just want to know how it's done. Well, it's always helpful to have someone else's head to practice on. Mm. For me, I had a younger sister. Okay. And some younger cousins. So, point of person. That's good. I couldn't really explain it. I could show you, but I could not tell. Okay. I guess I won't make you braid someone's hair. Or you can make me braid people's hair. Okay. But I mean, I guess I can't do it right now because there'd have to be like a people there with braid worthy hair. Yeah, like Nicholas Smith. True. True. Kagan. True. That'd they be fun. I could braid. Like, do all their hair. I would have such fun. Right. And I'll just be like watching and taking notes. Yeah. If you're not careful, your hair will be braided too. I mean, Maybe I'll take. I'll be like Viking dude. <laughs> He'll braid all our hair. That would be yeah. that would be a cool look. Let's do a photo shoot. Heck yeah. Boys with braided hair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll draw my inspiration from 
the word of the week. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Man. I was going to say something, but I don't remember what it was. Your sunglasses are purple, though. Thank you. Yeah. That's pretty exciting. Mine are red. Like, I was worried you'd be deeply offended by my colored shades. But now I find that that <laughs> worrying was all for naught. Yes, I love color. I mean. I do, yeah. too. Rainbows everywhere. <laughs> How I live. Rainbows. Except when I go out, then I'm all black. <laughs> right. I wear a lot of black. Like, I need to get some new black t shirts. I have a closet full of black t shirts. They all have holes in them now. <laughs> because, like, to go to work, I like to be blank. And mm -hmm. I prefer black to white shirt wise. Like, I just yeah, like the look. Risky. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so I wear a lot of black shirts. It's easy. This one's navy blue. It's oh, it's Winnie the Pooh. It says no bothers given. Oh, that's adorable. Yeah, I'm trying to have that mindset so that I don't jump off a cliff. <laughs> that's always good. You want to be a part of my band? I just thought of a band name the other day. Oh, really? What's it called? Yeah. The flustered cuck. The flustered cucks. Yes. Fantastic. I guess what would fluster <laughs> a cuck? <Yeah. laughs> Saying <laughs> the name three times the past. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of what kind of band do you envision it being? A funky disco. Funky disco. Funky disco. Curious. Indeed. Stay tuned. I'd, I'd go see you in concert. I mean, okay. I just saw my friend Molly's uh, Cindy Lauper cover band or tribute band Beautiful. the other day. How was it? It was fantastic. To be honest, I just almost took a drink out of the candle. Like, I just about picked it up to take a drink. I don't know. <laughs> like, it was next to my water bottle, and it looked like a cup. Mm. And it looked like yeah. a cuck. <laughs> <laughs> don't tease it too hard. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. One time, I sucked one of... I, I was in art class, mm -hmm. and... It was in Australia, so like it was past tea time, and I still had a cup of tea to drink. Mm -hmm. I accidentally put one of my paintbrushes in it. Oh no! <laughs> El Sucko. Yeah, well, that's good. El Sucko Mucho. That's Spanish for that's not cool. I think it's Spanglish anyway. Did I ever tell you about my friend's dad who only spoke Spanglish? No. Like, he he was from Mexico, and, like, no one could understand him. The, the, other, the other people who spoke Spanish couldn't understand him, and people who spoke English couldn't understand him because his language was this weird combo of both to where it was equally nutty oh, no. every like he only spoke spanglish it was kind of hilarious but he meant he was a lovely guy he's How dead um, what it'd be fun to try and understand him to do what to try and understand oh yeah hilarious. It wasn't fun. It was kind of stressful, you know, because I would do a lot of. Like, oh, yeah, because I didn't know what he was saying, but he really meant it, man. And like if he told a joke, if I figured out he told a joke because he'd start laughing and I go. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like, <so> and, <laughs> yeah. And then I would fear that I wasn't supposed to be laughing. 
I had no idea what he was saying. His kids didn't know what he was saying. His wife didn't know what he was saying. No one. I don't know how he got married. I wonder nope. what kind of world he was living in. A Spanglish world. <laughs> so, what should we randomly title this episode? I don't know either. That's why I'm asking. Oh, I had boob pockets. Even though we haven't even talked about boob pockets yet. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, boob pockets. <laughs> that's what we're going to call this episode. But now we must They're never... all my flannel shirts. <laughs> Wait, you have boob pockets? Is that is that a thing? I don't. I mean, have I boob... don't have one now. I mean, I'm not like a kangaroo or anything. Yet. But you can have boob pockets because... You can buy flannel shirts. I buy flannel shirts from the men's section. Okay. I mean, yeah. Oh, like, okay. So, like, inside jacket pockets, is that what we're talking about? Because I thought too. you were t- it talking about. It goes under the umbrella. Okay. I'm confused. I'm confused about anatomy. You asked for a name. And that was the first thing that popped up. Well, that's what we're calling it then. Episode 15, Boob Pockets. It'll get clicked. <laughs> it will click. They'll be like, oh, what the heck's a boob pocket? <laughs> right. They'll be as confused as I. <laughs> and that's fine. That's fine. I'm a confused little boy. <laughs> okay. This world's confusing. Have you seen it lately? <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm deeply confused and distressed. Like at all times. Um, let's see. All right. Like, oh gosh, my alarm's going off. It's time to wake up. Um, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, I normally I try to wake up around 8 p.m. <laughs> then go out to earn money on the street around 3 in the morning. <laughs> Come oh, yeah. back around 11, go to sleep about 12. But I'm up early today. And yeah. if I get this job, I'll have to turn my entire schedule upside down or right side up. I guess technically by society's standards, it's upside down now. Yeah, you're keeping quite the vampire schedule. Yeah, I'm very nocturnal. Like I used to get up at 2 a.m., but then I realized I had zero social interactions with people. Hmm. so i started waking up at eight to give me time to actually interact with people and um participate in commerce while businesses are open <laughs> that oh, kind yeah, of thing mm-hmm. oh well because i mean i would get home from work and stay up a little while but everybody i knew would be at work and hmm. You know, stores are crowded and I don't do well. I don't do well with crowded stores. Like if I ever go to hell, which is almost guaranteed, it's going to be a line at Walmart. It's going to be awful. Or it's going to be traffic waiting for a train to cross so that you can go but the train just never ends oh my god or you're at the dmv ah (laughs) no that in itself just be at the dmv that's it that's hell oh no so horrible for a place that gives you freedom it sure does like Give you the complete opposite when you have to do this thing. True story. I'm opposed. But, well, I mean, I guess it's it's a good thing it's there. I guess. Yeah. It's good that you have to, like, there, there are standards for being allowed to drive, sort of. Sort of. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean. I was surprised they gave me my license, honestly. I barely made it 
I passed my driver's test by one point. Like, oh, wow. Yeah. One point less and I would have failed. So, <laughs> yay. And now you're a driver. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And now I drive <laughs> for Lyft. <laughs> no it's terrible everyone's gonna die sometime might as well do it the mario kart way like i've had that where i tell people like we spin around on the ice and stuff and i was like i'm just giving you all the mario kart experience oh my goodness it's good here we go <laughs> <laughs> okay. yeah Whatever. So is there anything you want to talk about in particular? Um, anything on your mind? When I close my eyes, I see plants. You see plants? Like yeah, what kind I of plants? Myself. Like all kinds of plants. I work at a wholesale nursery mm -hmm. slash greenhouse. Plants everywhere plants for well that would make plants. sense yeah it's like how after i go to six flags when i close my eyes i feel like i'm on a roller coaster yeah where you play too much tetris mm -hmm. and... oh yeah <laughs> speaking are you spying on me are you spying on my computer activities because no as it turns out i do play too much tetris <laughs> but it's very relatable. But <laughs> people have played Tetris. True story. Too long and probably have also seen Tetris behind the island. Right. Right. I've had dreams about playing Tetris. Probably better than dreams about texting people. Yeah. One time I had a dream. I sent a naughty picture to like my work group chat. And I was like, <laughs> Dream embarrassed. It's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. That's bad. <laughs> Wait, but did you accidentally actually do it in your sleep? Because no. No. Because that's my fear. I don't like... think so. I didn't check. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if nobody complained. <laughs> I, mean... I mean, I only have two coworkers, so. <laughs> Yikes. Like, you know, if you ever check and find out that you did, just, you know, right. Okay, y'all's turns. <laughs> Let's see yeah. it. Let's see the goods. Yep. Show me what I'm working or, with. <laughs> or the bads. Let's see the goods or the bads. <laughs> oh, <no>. I'll... <laughs> I'll tell you which. I'll tell you which oh, one you've yeah. shown. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right rate my co-workers news <laughs> like, that's the new the new, the latest office game that's trending uh, like do you think society... <laughs> right do you think our society is going to get to the point where like nudes are so common that we do that <laughs> that we Ooh, just like send we nudes to nudes our friends of phone numbers? i yeah. i want to be in that society <laughs> where everybody's just that comfortable yeah i mean isn't this puritanical stuff a little uh mothering yeah like i'm mad that i can't go check my mail naked like i'll just be walking around naked and like i need to check the mail but i don't want to put on pants it's it's suffocating man it doesn't make any objective sense that we have to wear pants no it's not like wrong to be naked <laughs> Not really. It's just illegal. That's not the same as being wrong. Yes. Where did these morals come from? Is this because some woman ate an apple and <laughs> now we know nakedness? I mean, clothes. I mean, clothes are ruining the ecosystems with all their water demand. I'm talking fast fashion. True, Mostly. true. But oh, so many resources. I mean, sure, some of it's protective. Mm -hmm. Like, but you know, pr all the time. protection I get. Like, you know, coats make sense. 
shoes makes sense, but requiring them by law does not. Who are you, my daddy? Right. Yeah. <laughs> You're not the boss of me, government. <laughs> like, aren't they always naked in Sweden? I should just move to Sweden because it's that easy. Just move to Sweden. Good. Australia was pretty liberal with the freedom. Um, I even saw lots of people roam the cities barefoot. Oh, nice. Interesting. Their feet were like dirty and black. And like right. They could hobbit feet. Not as yeah. Big and they could probably walk across tax and legos without without much inconvenience because they'd be mm-hmm. like calloused and stuff always yeah. walking out that was me when i was a little kid i never wore shoes i was always outside barefoot having adventures in trees i was a little tarzan boy and i had really calloused feet like you could set my feet on fire. I wouldn't have known. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. <laughs> Walk around with like 10 nails in my foot. I didn't know. Ow. <laughs> I stepped on a nail one time. <laughs> Would not recommend. <laughs> <laughs> I did too. Like once when I was a teenager, we were playing water polo at Bridgeport. Like it was the junior counselors. We were there before the regular campers. Mm-hmm. And, uh, for I guess senior high camp I think it, yeah it was senior high camp so we're playing water polo one night and like the ball goes into those bushes I don't know if the bushes are still there over by the pool but I like leapt up out of the pool and just leapt over the bushes landed straight on a rusty nail went all the way up my foot and they had to like drive me to the hospital wow. <laughs> and it was hilarious like it was like it doesn't sound hilarious but we were laughing the whole time <laughs> about how Look at stupid you, I'm in pain. yeah and like the lady who like a couple of my friends jumped in the car and went with and the count the adults who were driving with us were just in love with us they thought we were hilarious because we were idiots basically <laughs> we were a very amusing <laughs> idiot children <laughs> Oh, well. Um, take me back. Yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't think I was as much of an idiot, but still an <laughs> idiot in comparison. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, so what's the dumbest thing you ever did as a teenager? Or maybe, Get I married. mean, <laughs> all right. Get married. <laughs> I told that story. Like, because uh, I was talking um, who, to Nick, Smith, and Sophia yesterday. Because we picked Sophia up at the airport. And like uh, we were talking about 19, right? And I told that story about how when you and I went to go pick up Brandon from the airport. And he was oh, nowhere the, the, to be found. The Greyhound station downtown. Yeah, the Greyhound station, I mean. Right. And... uh. I was like talking about, well, he's 19 and 19. That is the age at which you do the dumbest things. You just become an idiot on your 19th birthday. And the spell is not lifted until your 20th birthday. Don't know what it is. And I was like, think about it. Like, what did you do when you were 19? And you go, I got married and moved to Australia. I mean, that was worth it. I would not make the same decision today. Right. But you had an experience. I had an adventure. Yeah. And that, you know, yeah, worth it. I think. I was practicing spreading my wings. Man, you spread them far. Like, yeah. You flew across the ocean. (laughs) 9,000 miles or something. Yeah, that's a lot of miles. That's more than I generally walk in a day. Same. 
uh, I keep having to burp when I'm doing a conversations in sunglasses video and it won't come out and I feel like I'm going to explode and die oh, no. like a seagull eating Alka-Seltzer. <laughs> like, I don't know if that's a myth. I've never tried it and I never will, <laughs> but I've heard no, that they can't it. burp and so they explode. Don't try that, viewers. Yeah, I mean, don't give Beagle anything. Cool. Maybe a French fry, but then you'll get more Beagles. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless you're going to tame them all. I don't see the point. Right. If you, you want to adopt a, a flock of seagulls and not the band. <laughs> You adopt a flock of seagulls and it's that 80s band. They're all old guys and they're just like, okay, who wants to get pudding? <laughs> like, seeing 80s bands freaks me out because they're so old. And I'm like, gosh, in your music videos, you don't look 90 years old. <laughs> But probably because your music videos are 90 <laughs> years old. <laughs> I'm glad they did to the video. Thing. Pocket. Yeah. yeah. Well, they can do anti-aging now. Like, if I were in, a, in an 80s band today, I'd want to do de-aging technology in all my music videos. So I still look like I did. 90 years ago in the 1980s i can't do math don't test me so <laughs> but i think i saw a picture of i don't remember some 80s band and i was like holy crap they used to be like a heavy metal hair band and they're all like bald <laughs> oh, no. and like they literally look like old men because they are they're old what men happened? When you survive, eventually I guess, you I, guess I guess so. And you know, a lot of those people lived hard, hard lives. They they abused their bodies. Yeah, and lived through the 80s. Right. It's like I look like I'm bald when I the top of my head is cut off. Is that what I'd look like bald? I think so. Like I was free with hair. But I'll take you any style. <laughs> like, I wonder what I would do if I went bald. Like, would I do a Ben Franklin and still have long hair on the sides and just be bald on the top? <laughs> what? I said a skullet. A skullet? Yeah. It's like a mullet. Yeah. Would you polish your head? I don't know. Like, I don't like to think about it. It makes me really scared and sad. Because I don't know what I'd do with out hair. Like, I would think by this point I would have started going bald. Yeah. I mean, my grandfather still has a full head of hair. And he's like 80-something. That See, that's possible. comforting. That's comforting. Like, I think I think if I, um, if I did go bald and I had the money, I would probably do that thing where they take... Because, like, the back bottom of your hair or whatever it you don't go bald there so you can have the follicles moved up front and fill in your bald spot i think i do that because i'm that vain i have like, I feel like wigs are cheaper and you can get way more variety true but then they might fall off like wigs are like dentures you know it's true. That's what wiggly is for. Wiggly. Wiggly. Wiggly is a funny word. <laughs> wiggly. I live in a wiggly. <laughs> it's like an igloo with a wig glue on top. <laughs> like this big foo font on top of your igloo. It's Marge Simpson hair. Yeah. Ooh, I recently was at my grandmother's house and we looked at her yearbook photos mm -hmm. and about half the females there had these hair pieces on. Their, their hair was about 
I don't know, a good half foot off their head. <laughs> and it'd be a hairpiece called a wiglet. It was a wiglet. Yeah. That too. Now I'm thinking of baby pigs and wigs. Pigs and wigs. Adorable. A wiglet. Adorable. Yeah. yeah. Better than a pig lipstick, huh? <laughs> True, because pigs and lipstick just look like whores. <laughs> <laughs> Those poor pigs. They were like, I did not consent to this animal testing. <laughs> True, though. What's even in lipstick? Lots of wax. Don't know what kind necessarily because it depends on the brand. Okay, I and, guess so. And the pigment. Of some sort. And I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of the taste of <laughs> lipstick. Ooh, no. Yeah. So I'd never, I'd never eat a stick of lipstick if I like was offered some as a snack. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yes. A little creature that just ate stick of lipstick. <laughs> a wiglet would eat a stick of lipstick no doubt that sounds like a child's book right there <laughs> uh, yeah ooh and I ate beauty products to make it feel pretty from the inside so obviously it doesn't look that would be weird <laughs> like you're ugly inside so you try to eat makeup it would be funny if it worked like you die and your afterlife self is like just glitzed out like all the makeup you ate Oh, wow. and you died from eating makeup so that's your ironic afterlife like yeah interesting that's another Bridgeport Camp Bridgeport thing like I always found myself in drag like girls used when I was a teenager always wanted to put makeup on me and then there was this talent show thing me and this one girl traded clothes and sang a duet oh that's adorable (laughs) yeah we did it like every year and then when I was a counselor at junior high camp um strangely the boys during free time decided they needed to do my hair and in princess leia style so i don't know i'm always getting feminized at summer camp why is that great question (laughs) why are you letting yourself be feminized I mean, because I'm just laid back, you know, like what's masculine, what's feminine and who cares? That's my attitude. But it is curious to me that people target me for these things. (laughs) Like, hmm, what, what, how am I projecting the message of I should really be wearing makeup and have Princess Leia styled hair? curiosity maybe you're just amused of that vibe maybe so i mean like have you ever had something similar where like like i never see that i never see guys want to like dress girls up like guys Mm. you know i've made most of my past boyfriends put on my clothes at some point (laughs) Well, you made them or they just did it? Oh, no, I suggested it. Okay. Okay. So that's something then (laughs) we could say girls just enjoy is seeing guys dressed in their clothes. It's funny. (laughs) 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 I mean, it's just another way to pass the time in this (laughs) thing we call life. That makes sense. I'll accept that answer. That's good. (laughs) But is there like a criteria like for the guy that you want to put in drag? Does it 
does he for you does it have to be your boyfriend or is there a type of guy that you'll see and just be like hmm i wonder what he'd look like in a dress and heels I want to start thinking of those things more. <laughs> <laughs> but mostly it's the boyfriends because they're accessible and usually not argumentative about it. So. Mm. Jared lets me put eyebrows on him sometimes with makeup. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fun to play with appearance, you know? Right. That's true. It's fun. Playing dress up, pretty much. Pretty much. It's entertaining. Very entertaining. I wouldn't know how to put on makeup. Like, it would be funny. I should make a video of me putting makeup on someone. Just because I have no earthly idea how it works. (laughs) And just see how they turn. (laughs) I don't know. Like, do a, a vlog, be like, Glenn attempts makeup. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, like, follow a tutorial. It'll be so fun. <laughs> I like it. Hmm, maybe I will. <laughs> I try. I did a video where I was trying to tie a tie. It hasn't gone up yet. It was the day of my job interview. I hadn't tied a tie in nine years. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I was like, all right. I'll get my little diagram out that I keep under the towel basket that I never use. It had like water stains on it. Like I couldn't see the images very well. And I'm like just trying to tie the tie, looking at this thing. It took me like 20 minutes, but I did it. I did do it. Yay. Yeah. Spoilers. If that video hasn't gone up yet, I don't know when anything is going up. I have a little schedule. I'm very together yeah i recently got very together about a hobby normally i'm chaos and there's no order to anything Fun. but scary i recently got into um beating like oh, beating Be- not beating i'm not beating anyone anymore <laughs> Talk to me about beating. Yeah. So my mom took me to the rock barrel for Christmas. Mm-hmm. And by Christmas, I mean last weekend because what is time? Anyway. All time is now. All time is now, my young Padawan. She treated me and my sister, or my sister and I, to a, a crystal shopping day. So <laughs> I picked out a bunch of beads and they're really pretty. Like, I made the bracelet. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, it's my new hyper focus. And I'm cool. About it. And it's really easy to organize because everything's small. Sweet. I approve. That sounds like a fun hobby. Yeah. Yeah. It's making my brain, or my brain's making the happy chemical sound. <laughs> Serotonin right is that the happy chemical what Maybe do i know serotonin or dopamine i don't know dopamine yeah it's getting you high it's getting you it's high. Getting high i'm getting high off of the shiny rock <laughs> on my wrist <laughs> it's legal I mean, it's totally girl. legal you can it's totally legal and it's a cool hobby because it's something like all your hobbies seem to be things that you can gift to, to people <laughs> that's useful like when it comes to like Christmas time and such. Oh yeah. It's I love like, making stuff for people too. So I that would do added, that if I did that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's where I indulge the capitalism on my end. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sometimes. To a degree. And then I whip it up and just it up. And I give it to people. That's lovely. And I hope they like it quite lovely you'll get into heaven for sure which kind of makes me sad because you know I doubt i'll that. miss you i mean not that i really believe in that heaven right i mean sure it's a place there might be lots of other places too 
I think there are. Like, I was thinking about it today. Like, if I died and, like, all the little devils were like, oh, you're going to go to hell, I'd be like, nah. Because, like, I don't think you have to go. If there is a hell, I don't think you have to go there. You know? Like, and I was like, if I did go to hell, I would just take it over. And I don't really have an interest in that. I would just go around, like, asking people, what are you doing here? You don't have to be here, you know? You can just leave. Like, you're torturing, you're submitting yourself to this torture. You Just go. Like, this is stupid. Hell doesn't make any sense. No one's got, there can be no one enforcing such a thing. Certainly right. not the supreme being. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it all has to be consensual, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's me. I think it is. I think you choose to go to hell because you are like berating yourself or not forgiving yourself for something. If there is a hell at all. Yeah. There's the hell on earth, which is pretty much that. Yeah. True story. State of mind. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's kind of what my thought process was, because I was like thinking I'd go ask them, what are you doing here? You don't have to be here. And then I'm like, wait, I'm kind of in hell. Am I should I be asking myself this question? What am I doing here? I don't have to be here. Why am I in hell? (laughs) Right. Right. Bald. Bald. (laughs) Okay. Like, I got to get this. Wait, I look like a bird, like, doing <laughs> some kind of a weird dance. Oh, yeah. My feathers are going to fly out. It's going to be weird. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and people can steal my feathers to make hats. I think that's what would happen if I had feathers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. I'd be very tempted to steal one of your feathers. <laughs> But I only like the feathers that I find on the ground. Mm. I mean, it's nicer to take the ones you find on the ground. I think so. I mean, birds are a pain in the ass to deal with. Right. And I, I dare you to... One, even one on the ground. <laughs> I dare you to pluck a feather straight off a peacock. Ouch. Like, yeah, peacocks are already cranky yeah i think if you yanked out one of their feathers they would murder you yeah there used to be peacocks over near white rock lake like there was a dude with a peacock ranch or something and they'd get out Mm -hmm. they'd just be on top of people's houses making peacock noises and So there'd be feathers lying around. I don't know that they're still around. I don't know either. I have not seen a peacock near White Rock Lake, but I have also not been near White Rock Lake. Mm -hmm. Why? That could explain it, but I have. I haven't seen peacocks. I've seen deadly snakes and parrots. Have you seen the bald eagle? No, I haven't. But I did hear something about that. There's a bald eagle there. It's pretty exciting. Mm-hmm. Unless yeah. it tries to eat you. Like <laughs> <laughs> no. They're not that kind of thing. No, they probably just eat fish and rabbits and crap. Yeah. Easy crap. And small baby humans. <laughs> Small baby humans that just won't stop crying. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, freaky. <laughs> oh well, whatevs. Well, I guess it's been about an hour. I guess I should wrap this up and or something. I mean, <laughs> like I find when I let them go on and on and on, nobody watches them. That's fair. Keep it short. Yeah, like an hour. Hour, I think the last one I did ran an hour and a half, and I'm like, ah, oh, if we don't stop now, absolutely no one will watch this. Unless, of course, you know, you have other things to say, because, I mean, if there's something you wanted desperately to discuss with me, 
I'll uh <laughs> nothing too pressing. Nothing too pressing. Well, things in development. So you what? I have some things in the developing stage. Like what? I'll probe. Mm. You're like I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> Just say I'm furthering my developing in the spiritual realm. Oh, do tell. If you want. Yes. No pressure. Yes. Only some pressure. No. Best nah. keep it under. But I'm very excited about it. Good. I'm excited to hear about it. Honestly. Like I've been thinking about spiritual things. But I guess, you know, again, if I get started, we'll go like another hour and a half or so. And <laughs> no one will watch it. Yeah, that'll so, be a whole nother episode. Yeah, pretty that. much. I hate this. <laughs> this bald look. Like if I ever go bald, this is telling me what I'll look like. And I'm just gonna chop off my head. <laughs> um, Hairdresser, chop it all off. <laughs> and by that I mean my head. <laughs> I like no. it. All right. If you go bald, I'll give you a lifetime supply of wig glue. <laughs> wig glue. Fantastic. <laughs> and then I'll be inspired to go get wigs or just pick up clumps of hay and stick it to my <laughs> gluey, gluey head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that would be rather awesome. <laughs> Yeah, and on that note, <laughs> if you people I can't see who I very much appreciate like this crazy video and want to see more of it, I don't know what's wrong with you, but I appreciate it. So subscribe, like, all of that kind of stuff. Um, and if you want to follow Amanda, that's stalking. It's stalking yeah. and she might get a restraining order. Like the one I she got go on public. me. Oh, that was a long time ago. <laughs> oh, right. I forgot. <laughs> if I ever decide to not be private on social media, I'll let myself be known. Exactly. Exactly. And you will not be able to miss it. It will be a volcanic eruption of social media activity from Amanda Wilkes. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> That would freak me out a little bit. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you, my friend, for being on my weird little YouTube show. Thank you for having me. Yes. Always lovely chatting with you. And hopefully I'll see you soon in person. Yes. Yeehaw. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>